How's it going guys? Flickfy here and welcome to episode 72 of my York City career mode. Before the episode begins, I just want to say thanks for all the support on my newest upload, the first Pink Slips episode. Seen a lot of support so far and it's only been the first day of uh, it being up as the time that I'm commentating this right now. So we'll see how it does overnight as well, but I'm definitely going to be continuing with that series because you guys do seem to enjoy it. So right there you guys saw a quick squad report from our players. Bergamelli and Dos Santos have probably been the standout players so far. They've gone up plus four already and we're only halfway through the season. So that's pretty awesome, and they're on track to have a great season. And right here, we're going to go into the first match of the episode against QPR. We're sitting fourth place in the league right now, so that's pretty nice to see. Hopefully, we can move our way a little bit higher up, maybe second or third spot. Don't know if we're going to be able to get that first place position by the end of the season, but we'll see. And here, Morante is actually going to get the first goal in the third minute, so not much of a better start you can ask than that. And he's going to get a nice little volley there in the third minute from a nice cross from our defender. And De Silva here going to show another cross. He's going to look for Bergamelli in the center. Bergamelli is going to find Kirchhoff, and Kirchhoff scores a nice little near post goal. And after that one goes in, we're going to be watching the instant replay here. And it's actually a pretty funny instant replay. He takes his shot, and as he's falling down, looks like he's uh, busting a move or something. He's going to be a break dancer in his new club, so that's kind of funny. But uh, Mackie here is actually going to get through on goal. He's going to outpace our defenders. Don't know how they didn't catch up to him, but he's going to put that one away past Joe Jerome, who got the start in this match in the 35th minute they cut the deficit in half so we go into halftime up two to one still pretty happy with that because we do have the lead against a good QPR side you know they're obviously not the best but they're still a formidable squad to say the least and Kirchhoff there gets his second goal of the match in uh, just at the beginning of the second half there here we get a little bit lucky Joe Jerome managed to uh, somehow keep that out of the net and we get the three to one result and that was a pretty big match for Kirchhoff because, you know, there has been some transfer rumors and a lot of clubs do want him. And you can see here a uh, little bit of rumors about whether or not he's going to be sold. But we do have a couple of clubs who are willing to buy him. So that looks to have been his last game for the club. And he did perform really well in his last game. So it was a nice bit of a sending off for Kirchhoff. And he did really play a good part for this team for the half a season that he was here. And it's a nice bit of profit, to be honest, guys. So because of that, I do decide to go ahead and try to pick up some players. Konglo is the player I'm going to be looking at because I, I'm just not sure about Darmian. You know, I did sign him on the loan to buy offer at the end of the last season, and he just hasn't performed that well this season. So I figure we're going to try to pick up Kongolo and Darmian. Hopefully we'll get transferred or he's going to be moved to a bench player, getting the occasional start. And there you can see we finally do sell Kirchhoff. We get a $6 million addition to our budget. So Konglo is probably going to be the signing that we're going to make with that if everything goes well. If not, we're going to try to find a different player. So here we go into the first cup game of the episode. A little bit of a size difference there between the two players. But this one's in the FA Cup. So I think this is our first match that we've actually had in the FA Cup. We have been playing in another cup. I think it's the Carlings Cup or something like that. And we do have one more match in that cup later on in the episode against Liverpool. But there we nearly get a goal. But Henderson, I think, is their keeper. Made a couple good saves there. You can see there we were really dominating throughout this match. And Chikuchi getting his first start as the starting striker. Managed to get a nice little diving header in the 37th minute. So nice. Nice goal from him and really showing his stuff and showing his worth for the team. So we go into halftime with a 1-0 lead and I was pretty happy with that. Hopefully Chikuchi can go ahead and continue that form and really show up to be as good of a player as Kirchhoff was for us. Unfortunately, Jarvis West Ham's probably their best player. Scores in the 51st minute to go ahead and tie things up. But here, right after kickoff, we're not going to skip anything. And Morante is going to do a failed roulette, but it's going to fall to Dos Santos. Dos Santos is going to find Bolanta, showing a little trickery with his five-star skills. And he's going to find Chikuchi, our starting striker. Chikuchi is going to find Morante yet again. And Morante is going to bury that one to give us the lead. The comeback goal, which is just so typical in FIFA. I seem to give that up quite a bit. This time it worked for us, though. And Morante here has another opportunity to make it 3-1 to one in our favor. But unfortunately, the keeper does make another good save. And Chikuchi was not able to put that one by. So here in the 83rd minute, look at that for a through ball by Diakata, I think it was. And Terrascani, their star striker, does manage to bury that one past Joe Jerome in the 84th minute. So we do get the draw there, which means we will be playing West Ham later on in the season. It's pretty much just going to be a rematch. And we'll see how we do in that match. So as you can see right there, I was not too successful in the transfer offers that I sent. So I'm going to send another offers for Congo though, and I'm going to put Mokhtar up as well as 4 million. So that's a pretty big offer. But the reason I did that is because Mokhtar, I'm not quite sure about him yet. He hasn't shown to grow too much and he's not the youngest of players. He's like 24 and I feel like if he's not growing much, I might as well go ahead and try to sell him and sign a better player. 
So we go into the Capital One Cup here against Liverpool, who we did play a couple of weeks ago, and we managed to beat him like 3-1 to or 4-1 to or something crazy like that. But Andy Carroll here shows a monster of a shot. Managed to get by th that ball by Daryl Bird, who got the start because... I gave that rumor that, you know, Daryl Byrne does perform a little bit better because of his experience in these pig cup games. There, unfortunately, we couldn't get a shot off after Liverpool's good defense, and they were just a different team, to be honest, guys. They played so much better, and it was really, uh, what's his name, Andy Carroll, who just played really well throughout this entire game there. He kind of steals a goal from whoever headed that ball, but he gets his second goal there in the 33rd minute, and unfortunately, we go into halftime with a 2-0 deficit, so I was not really happy with that. We were looking to get things back here. A fail of a clearance from Kelly, and Henley is going to bury that one near post. Gets it by Jose Reyna, and uh, in the 63rd minute, we're cutting the deficit in half. Unfortunately, though, we just could not get another shot off, and McCarthy here nearly makes a 3-1 for Liverpool, but that is how the match will end, a 2-1 loss for us and we are kicked out of the Capital One Cup despite our late run. So I think that does fulfill our cup objective, but that will bring an end to the episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, this has been Flickfy. I'll be talking to you guys again soon.